guys and welcome back to the seventh part of uh, this series of how to model a bedroom so this time um, I want to teach you something I want to create a PC case okay some computer case and maybe later on we will continue on creating the screen and other stuff like the mouse and keyboard but <clears throat> I have one main issue with uh, something about the case itself uh, I actually tried to model uh, using the bullying function uh, to model the the front panel of the DVD ROM drive so um, I will show you what I'm talking about this is the front panel as I want it to look like okay maybe I can add letter on the bevel to make it look nice but <clears throat> the main issue with this is that when I'm trying to boolean difference uh, the DVD text from the cube itself to make it look like this okay so sometimes uh, Maya doesn't know what to do with with our with our choose uh, choice and she's uh, making those pieces disappear so at first um, I, I was trying like about an hour to determine what what's really the issue with this uh, problem and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about so this this tutorial it's not really how to create the case itself it's only focus on the on this front panel of the DVD ROM drive and it's extremely important to understand that sometimes it's just matter of luck or maybe matter of understanding and there are maybe a lot of answers on why it's happening and still it's extremely important to understand that only patients uh, are are the thing that will uh, make it happen so um, so maybe I'm talking too much and when I will try to do this you will see that uh, it will happen right away and I don't uh, I'm, I, I'm like bullshitting you or something but believe me I'm not okay so I'm, I'm starting by creating this panel you just so and I'm going to the attribute editor of it and add some more subdivision Okay, like so. And after I added enough uh, subdivision to cover the all blank area of the faces, I'm going over create text and tick this box over here and type down DVD. Make sure it's on bevel here. Also ticking the bevel. And you can see here uh, this uh, arrow here. So it's this arrow is for the font. So click on it. You will get this box. Okay, select font. I'm choosing the Arial. Okay, font. Here it is. And font style bold italic. And I will leave it at the same size that it's uh, the default. And choose OK and create. Okay, so. Now, let's say if I was creating this box at the other direction, like so, and then I want to fix this letter so it will be in front of this funnel. So I will probably go over rotate and rotate it 90 degrees, right? Like so, and then I will head to center it because the pivot of these letters uh, is actually at the left side so I'm trying to uh, center it so it will be centered to the cube itself so I'm adjusting it and then also I'm making sure that um, most of the letters are inside the cube okay like so this way it's okay 
All right, so now what we are going to do is going over the cube, shift select the DVD itself, and we will go over mesh, booleans, and difference. And as you can see, something wrong has just happened. The letters and the cube itself has disappeared. So you're probably asking yourself, what the hell is going on here? Yeah, I know. I'm trying to figure out the answer for this about an hour or so. And the only uh, good explanation for this is I'm going to show you. I think this is the most um, biggest tip I ever learned in this two years of exper experimenting Maya. Um, the only problem was at first when I chose to rotate this DVD letters instead of rotating the cube itself so I will undo this and this and this and this and this until the moment I rotate the DVD letters okay and then I will not rotate the, the cube I will only scale it back to the size as like this you can rotate it if you like I'm almost sure it will this time it will uh, it will happen exactly as as we want so choose the DVD just make sure the V letter is uh, in the middle of this line axis and bring it similar to what we have just done also, after scaling it, you have to center it again. Okay, now let's try this again. As you can see, I will bring it like so. I will choose first the cube, shift select the DVD, and now I will try to boolean difference it. And it happened again. So, something is really... Um, not stable with Maya. Something is really wrong about what we are doing, and Maya can't figuring out what what to do <coughs> and give us the the result that we 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 like. So I'm trying to adjust those things again, and this time is going over modify and sorry edit delete by type history and. I will try to give it another shot okay so boolean's difference and let's see still it doesn't doesn't work so let's do something else let's say we are bringing this cube again to what to how it was and scale it like so and now we are going to rotate it okay so now we are rotating and it should be 90 degrees and let's try let's try this again mesh booleans and difference still doesn't want to work let's try to bring the letters inside mesh let's try to delete by type again history and booleans and difference still it doesn't want doesn't want to work so we are going to make it from the start let's delete both of them we are going to go over delete all by type history and then we are going to create first the cube we are going to stretch it like so so now we know that when we are going to create the words it will appear like here from the front view okay we are going to the attribute editor add some more subdivisions okay maybe I need some more subdivision I'm not sure okay let's create the word so it's supposed to be the same Oh, it's not the same. It's Arial bold italic. So 
oh yeah it's the same <laughs> sorry so let's create the word and we are going to bring it to the center maybe scale it because it's too much yeah that's nice now let's move it like so bring it inside click choose this box shift select the DVD mesh booleans and difference and still it's happening still something is wrong with Maya now I'm going to open this scene again okay bedroom open don't save okay so now we still have this here and we don't want this okay we actually do want this but now I'm going to bring it here I'm going to create the text again okay because the setting for the letters for the fonts are already made uh, and saved so I'm just going to fix this bevel issue and I'm going to create a new cube and this time again I will scale it and I will add more subdivision with height and the path okay and we'll center the DVD letters like so and choose this and this shifts like this and booleans difference and as you can see now it's work now this is what actually I tried all this tutorial to teach you um, and it's called patience you need to be patient on what you are doing in Maya uh, especially when you are uh, using booleans difference or union or any other function uh, we only have only one intersection after this so um, when we're working with booleans um, it's really unstable uh, function and sometimes it's causing things disappearing from your scene and sometimes it's not just make them disappear it's probably also bring them to the uh, to another galaxy <laughs> in Maya you know like bring them somewhere you just can't reach them so I truly don't know the real answer for this I'm just trying to um, teach you what I know and what I've experienced um, since I started to model in Maya and this is one of the main uh, bigger issues that um, comes with most of uh, Maya versions and I hope that help you um, if you still didn't succeed on doing this um, I encourage you to keep trying uh, keep trying the the way you are um, show you what I'm talking about the way you are bringing this letter inside it really depends sometimes on how much um, uh, inside the letters are in because when you applying booleans uh, functions it relays on the subdivisions of your letters and the cube and it's trying to fit the best way it can so you need to give it a push and maybe help it by choosing as you can see I'm taking relaying on this subdivision line and I'm trying to make it as close as I can to the cube itself so when I will do this it will know how to translate uh, this bevel function okay so this is for this is it for now I will continue on how to model the PC itself um, after that and also um, I want you to do this to make sure that 
when you are doing this front panel uh, of the DVD ROM, uh, make sure you are doing this at the same scene that we just started on the last uh, parts. As you can see now, I have this DVD panel here. Okay, so make sure you're doing this inside our scene, so we we will we will can we will be able to continue this. Okay, from here. 